again, for the people that just coming in on the back end of that story, I was explaining like the first time, I was explaining like how this young thug case for a lot of you young boys is a chance for you to see, a chance for you to get on the right path. And I was explaining how my first time I, I was shown to the right path was when my, me stealing that soda and the chance of my dad being across the street and my dad caught me stealing. And, you know, I ended up getting a whooping for that. Uh, yeah, he didn't tell me to fake cry for that one. My dad was disappointed. He gave me, and then he gave me $5 and told me go buy it. My dad said, take that pot back and go pay for it. And I had to go in the store and pay for the stolen soda. <laughs> That's some fucked up shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. I done stole this pop. Got away with it. Now I gotta go up in here and put this motherfucker on the counter and talk about, can I pay for can Can I pay for this? And they looking at me like, yeah, yeah, I stole it. And my dad told me to come back and pay for it. So I stole the soda, made away with it. I got a spanking, and then my dad gave me $5, and I had to go buy my stuff. And my friends were laughing at me because we were all together. So, yeah, I got a whooping and crying. And uh, my dad gave me five dollars to pay for my shit. So, but, you know, that's just one of the stories. So I was explaining how this young thug case for a lot of y'all should be an eye awakening. It should be scary to you. It should be scary to you because at a young age, you get to see somebody like young thug going through what he's going through when he had made it out of the system. He's 31 years old. I didn't even know he was 31. This man is my age. So Young Thug is one year older than me. And he made it out the system into a multi-millionaire. And look at what he's dealing with. He's dealing with friends turning on him. He's dealing with family members turning on him. He's dealing with the system trying to make sure that they put him in jail. We're going to get started with this Young Thug trial. This is day seven we're going to be watching. But I want to show you some things that recently just came to light. Now, y'all know it's a total of 65 counts. Apparently, Young Thug will not be charged on all 65. Somehow, and this is what I want you young boys, here's the education that I try to bring to this Young Thug case. This is what I want y'all to take when y'all come and watch me react to this. We're not reacting to this for entertainment. There's a lot of people, and I say this with no disrespect, I'm not trying to say I'm better than them. I'm just saying there's a lot of people that are watching this Young Thug case for pure entertainment. Man, is he going to beat it? Man, is they going to lock him up? There's no teachable moments in here. I'm sitting here looking at people, looking at this shit like it's a show. This is not a show. This is what you're going to go through if you don't change your direction. But guess what? Young Thug only getting eight count of the 65 counts that's on the indictment. Do you understand, once again, how crazy that is? This is what happens when you have friends in high places. When you are part of the system and when you have millions of dollars, you can pay for lawyers, you can tell your friends, do you know how... Do you know how Kodak Black got a pardon for Don from Donald Trump? Do you think your little black ass, your little white ass, your little Hispanic ass, your Latino, whatever y'all are in the chat, do you think your little ass can get a pardon from Donald Trump? See, I want you to understand that the game that we follow these celebrities in, we go and try to, man, I'm going to be like Young Thug. I'm going to be like Kodak Black. I'm going to be like T.I. I'm going to be a gangster and I'm going to stand on mine. I'm going to be a Kevin Gates and I'm going to stand on mine. You won't get a pardon from Donald Trump. Nah, your little busted ass. You making 100000 100, a year. You making 500000 You won't get a pardon from Donald Trump. You won't get eight counts. Somehow, he only getting eight count. I'm going to show you the other counts. Even though these counts are still bad, but do you know the fire that Young Thug was in? Young Thug, 65 counts. He only going to get, let me go to the big screen. Out of 65 of the counts, he only going to get hit with eight of them. 
That'll never happen for you. And that's the education that I'm trying to bring. Bro, oh, Young Thug is, is deep in. Young Thug is deep in. I know the picture you're talking about. But like I said, see me, I do the reality and then I do the conspiracy. Me, I started off my life on reality. But I also grew to understand the conspiracy behind it. So I understand Young Thug is deep in, bro, on the conspiracy side. But on the reality side, this is what I know most of us can relate to. And this is what I look at when it comes to my life. I, I'm, I'm a definitely a conspiracy person, but I like to stick to reality and then show you the conspiracy with it. So reality, reality is this will never happen for you. This will never happen for you. You would never get an opportunity. You are not that special. That's what I want y'all to get. You are not that special. You are just a citizen playing in a game that you don't have the money for or the connection for. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So when you go out here and you try to model these guys' lifestyle, Young Thug only getting hit with eight counts, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, possession of cocaine with intent to distribute, possession of cocaine, possession of firearm, possession of machine gun, Uh, conspiracy con uh, to violate the racketeer influence uh, corrupt organization. Participation in criminal street gang activity. Do you understand how crazy this is? For a young thug to get this type of opportunity in a case where so many people are trying to testify against him. This is a major situation. Please stop looking at it for entertainment and looking at and look at it for the purpose of this is what happened for celebrities. But if you live your life like a celebrity and you're not a celebrity, guess what? You just living your life like it. You won't get the same treatment. Do you understand that politicians don't get hit with the same type of conditions that you get hit with. Do y'all do get that, right? Politicians can be caught with the same thing that you're caught with, but they'll have a different type of charge. Some of them. Some of them, because the connections run deep. So I want you to understand and take away from this shit. We're going to get ready to start the trial. That this right here is crazy. But it won't happen for you, though. You won't get this opportunity because you're not a man that is connected. You're not a woman that is connected. You're not a celebrity. You're just a random ass person. You're just a person out here trying your best to work your job every day, be a better citizen. You won't get these type of chances. So why would you participate in something where the rules are different for him and you? They don't play by the same rules. Money, Young Thug is paying a lot of money to get a fucking situation like this. Only eight of the 65 counts? Now, I want to show you something. Once again, this is where you're headed if you continue to follow the path of these celebrities. Check this out. Multi-millionaire. 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 Made it out the hood. Got to put his homies on. His homies taking plea deals left and right. Now look at this. Now, a WSB Tonight exclusive for you. Only Channel 2 is going to give you a look inside the Cobb County Jail where attorneys for rapper Young Thug say he's being kept in inhumane conditions. He was arrested in a gang conspiracy. So today, the you notice how many family members you got in jail right now that live in inhumane conditions and there's no news reported for him or her.
They play by a different set of rules. My nigga say everybody. But there ain't gonna be no channel mode. There ain't gonna be no channel 10, no channel 4, no WCBI, no TVV, WVT. There ain't gonna be nobody to come and get you out of that inhumane system. But see, when you got connection and when you got the money, you can get people to make exclusives. This is what I'm trying to show y'all. But my young G's out here that still want to portray this lifestyle, you still want to live a lifestyle of these celebrities. You are falling into a trap that can't get you eight counts out of 65 of the counts. All your homies are swilling on you and you still somehow <laughs> is coming on top Little by little, catching W's. When you got over 300 people's taken, th that's what I'm saying, bro. If you know anything about the system, dog, eight counts out of 65, when they trying their best to pin it all on you, man, that's a, that is a miracle, dog. I don't know. Maybe I'm not being clear. Let me make sure I'm being clear. But Young Thug to have eight counts, and these are the counts. This is a miracle. This won't happen for you. This is where money and connection do. And you don't have these type of things. You may have a hundred thousand. See, this is once again, do you know how Kodak Black got a pardon from Donald Trump? Kodak Black, they said invested a million. That's what they telling us. We don't know how much Kodak Black really invested into the Trump campaign. And Donald Trump gave him a pardon. You think out of all the people, Donald Trump just gonna pick out Kodak Black to give a pardon to? See, these are po political games. These are political games. You think Brittany Grinder came home because she was a woman and they had her captured or because she was a part of a system that they can use political gains from. Think about what I'm saying to y'all. This shit that's going on, we don't get these opportunities. But let's continue on. Let's continue on. Young Thug, this is his living condition. A multi-millionaire is living in this type of environment when he should be somewhere off enjoying his life. He made it out. But he still want to be a part of this gangster society. 31 years old. Once again, look at the living condition. Cobb County Sheriff's Office invited us to see the rapper's jail cell. Channel 2's Michael Seiden stood just feet from Young Thug. This would be the um, typical cell for this area. It doesn't have the mattress that would be in there because it's not currently occupied by Thanks. When attorneys for Atlanta rapper Young Thanks. Thug filed a motion for an emergency hearing for bond describing the Cobb County jail conditions as inhumane and torturous, civil rights organizations like the Southern Christian Leadership Conference didn't waste any time getting a first-hand look inside the facility. The purpose of today was to let the community know that we're not doing anything that we don't want them to see. Um, we're running ab above board jail, um, and we want anybody and everybody to know that. But this is a jail. It is a detention center. It's not the Fritz Carlton. Officials with the Cobb yeah. County Sheriff. You heard what she said for you young for you young niggas in here. I'm sorry for you young boys for you young girls in here. For you older people in here, you know enough to stay away from this. If you get caught up in this, you chose it. But a lot of these kids want to follow these celebrities and and they don't always have somebody to inform them this is a multi-millionaire and look at his living condition you heard what those people said this is not a detention center this is not a, a, a school playground this is jail and when you play these type of game long enough when you continue to want to play this role knowing that you have made it out but you still want to play this tough guy and you end up in these places, dog. And they can be some of the worst conditions you ever fucking... Jail is worse in the hood. I want y'all to understand that. Some of us have lived in the worst of the worst projects. 
infection, mold, viruses. But guess what? That ain't got nothing on jail. Jail is a world of its own. And guess what? Will they come in and do it exclusive for Jabarcus? That's my real name. Will they come and do it exclusive for fat food? Yo, fat food, you think if you go to prison right now, they're going to do it exclusive for you, though? Yo, D, D, you go out here and commit these crimes, you think there's a chance you can only get eight counts? You think out of all this shit going on, you can get your shit dropped down to eight counts? My boy, Chicago, is there any chance in hell, dog? You don't think, so you saying, so you saying IP is the following the footsteps of character like this, and they not gonna get the same opportunity? Well, then we better we better do, we better start um trying to get them to see the real then, huh? So if we got sons and daughters in here, they not gonna get the chance that, that young thug getting? Oh man, it's not fair, is it? Damn. So so all our kids in here, are you hearing what these people sitting here saying? They said that they wouldn't get the same chance that young thug getting. See, money, power, and connections get you blessings. And the news want to fight for you. Meek Mills. Y'all seen what happened to Meek Mills? Meek Mills act like he didn't know where jail was. Meek Mills went to jail and had a fit. And they went and got him. Jay-Z. What that woman name? Jay-Z. Um... What that lady name that was with Kanye West? Her and other people, they band together to go get Meek Mills out of jail. Meek Mill went to jail, had a fit, and they went and got him. But see, see, this is what I mean. This is what I see. I gotta learn to not get upset when I see stupid comments. No disrespect. Then you said Meek Mill was low-key racially targeted though. Damn, nigga. What about the family members you got that is racially targeted and ain't nobody gonna come? Oh. God, bro, come on, keep up with me, bro. What I'm trying to get you to see is they got people to come and get you. Ain't nobody coming to get you when you racially targeted. That's what I'm trying to expose to you. Stop loving on the system because the system only gonna protect these people. So when we got our kids Following this shit, thinking that I can be a slime life nigga. You know how many niggas in jail for being racially targeted? You know how many niggas dead for being racially targeted? What I'm trying to explain to you, dog. Please, y'all, don't type that type of shit in here. Don't type that shit in here, man. Man, I don't give a fuck. There's a lot of niggas in jail right now for selling weed. It's so many niggas in jail for selling weed. Man, I, I'm done talking to you, bro. No disrespect. I can't talk to you. Like, we got to... Yo, for my young niggas in here, please understand what I'm saying. You won't get the protection. You won't get the opportunity for somebody to come and say you was racially targeted. If you go to jail right now, this nigga D that just typed that comment, guess what he going to say? Shit, they got that nigga. That nigga trip. He ain't gonna say you was racially targeted because you're not a celebrity. He not gonna give a fuck. No disrespect, D, but I gotta point something out. D ain't gonna give a fuck if you get racially targeted. He said, man, dude, trying to figure out what is your um, angle in this. Look at that. Man, I'm done talking. I don't want to buy your bed, man. All right. Once again, let's continue to watch this for you young niggas that are paying attention. So office granted us access inside under the condition that we refrain from shooting video of any of the inmates, including young thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams. Williams has been in jail since he and 27 other defendants were charged in a sweeping gang indictment in Fulton County. So right now we are getting exclusive access inside the Cobb County Jail. We've been asked not to show rapper Young Thug, but we're only about three cells down from him. And we've come in here after his attorneys filed that emergency motion. That's because we want to see exactly what the conditions are like here in jail. 
Jail officials told us that Williams, who's considered a high-profile inmate, is being kept in his own cell in isolation for his own safety. They also told us he's being fed and given the opportunity to exercise and meet with his attorneys. On Friday, Williams' attorney, Brian Steele, told... Look at that right there. The $10 million lawyer right here, right? Isn't that what the word on the street is? He, this the $10 million man? Look at him. See, you ain't gonna have this nice suit, ten million dollar man coming to rescue you. You ain't gonna have that. You ain't gonna have this nice suit, ten million dollar man to come save you. Cause you're just a regular pun. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. We have to kill the characters. We have to stop. We are trying to show our kids that don't follow this because he gonna have the protection. You ain't gonna have, is he gonna come and represent any of you motherfuckers in here that got a regular job? We're gonna get the value meal. That nigga said we're gonna get the value meal lawyer. And that's what I'm trying to explain. So for my young G's out here, that's swinging on the block, sliding on the block, spinning on the block. Young thug can spin on the block, and somehow he got eight counts. They done dropped this nigga down to eight counts. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get y'all to see the bigger picture. I can't go, I can do what Young Thug doing, and still asking the judge to, to let me out. This inhumane. I can't get a meat meal situation. I can't get a Kodak Black to be pardoned by the president. But my money ain't that long. I, they, I just had to sit in that motherfucker. So let's go ahead and get started with the trial, man. I just wanted to show y'all that. We're going to get started with the trial. Shout out to everybody tuning in. I'm not here to disrespect nobody. Um, it just it hurts my feeling when I see y'all do that. It hurts my feeling when I see y'all say stuff like, well, you know, they ain't treating your authority right in jail, bro. Or they ain't treat old boy right in jail, dog. Man, they had Kodak Black starving, dog. Do you know how many niggas die in jail from starvation? Are y'all talking to anybody on the jail calls? Are y'all talking to any, uh, y'all got any homies that go to jail? And they tell y'all, shit, nigga. Y'all must not be talking to nobody in jail. Y'all, bro, niggas die in that bitch from starvation. But me, Mill, and Kodak Black, and all these other celebrities, they go to jail and don't eat. And all of a sudden, we spoke that we got to rush to their rescue. And we rescued them. But what about the niggas in there that hanging themselves? Do you know about that? Niggas in jail hanging themselves. All right, man, let's get started with the trial. Let's get started with the trial. Wow, that's crazy. All right, let's see what happens. versus Trontavia Stevens in indictment 22 SC 183572. Um, good evening, Ms. Gladden, and good evening, Mr. Stevens. Good evening, Your Honor. Good evening. And uh, good evening, Ms. Love, and good evening, Ms. Hilton. Good evening, Your Honor. Good All right. Uh, Mr. Stevens, can I get you to raise your right hand the best you're able, please? You saw me swear affirm the evidence you shall give in the matter now in hearing. Should be the truth, the whole truth, none but the truth, that be God so firm. I do. All right, you need to speak up, sir. I do. Okay, all right. Put your hand down. All right, Mr. Stevens, over the next several minutes, I'm sure Ms. Gladden has probably told you, we're going to go through what's called a providency inquiry. 100 days. It is what we call your Davis. blinking rights. That means those are constitutional rights that every criminal accused enjoys. Meaning, because in our system of jurisprudence, we don't force people to plead guilty. So... Courts have to make sure you understand your rights and you give those up freely and voluntarily before I can sentence you, okay? So that's the first part. The second part of the inquiry, 
the state has to lay out a factual basis as to what they would have been able to prove at trial beyond a reasonable doubt. So assuming that they What's can, up, Jay? those two things, um, they yeah. pass, then I can determine that you're I appreciate y'all, bro. and accept your negotiated plea. Okay. You got to You got to answer. Yes, sir. Yes or no for the record. Okay. All right. So Ms. Law, is it going to be you, Ms. Law? It's going to be Ms. Okay. Ms. Hilton is going to ask you a series of questions that's designed to get at the two areas we talked about. When she's done, your attorney, Ms. Gladden, will, will, will offer me some things on your behalf, and then you and I will have a short conversation, and, and I should be able to accept your plea, okay? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. All right, madam, go right ahead. Thank you. May I take off my mask? First? You can, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Stevens, if you could please um, state your true and correct legal name. Trontavia Stevens. And are you the same person referred to as Trontavia Stevens, also known as Tick and also known as Slug, on indictment 22 SC 183572? Yes. Are you at this time taking or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medicine? No. How oh. old are you? <laughs> 29. And how far have you gone in school? I got a GED. Okay. Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. Do you understand that you are charged in this indictment with count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act? Yes. Do you understand that you have the right to plead either guilty or not guilty to these charges? Yes. And if you plead not guilty or remain silent, you may receive a jury trial? Yes. Have you had enough time to speak with your lawyer, your attorney Gladden, about all the facts and circumstances known to you regarding the charge in this indictment? Yes. Have you also been able to speak with her about any potential defenses? Yes. Do you need any more time to discuss this matter with your attorney? No. Are you satisfied with her counsel and representation? Yes. Do you waive formal reading of the indictment? Excuse me? So waived. Yes. I asked if um, your turn, you and your attorney waive formal reading of the indictment. That means they don't want to read the charge. If not, I got to read the indictment. Yeah. Oh. So, so waived. Okay. Yes. Do you waive any and all defects, if any, with wow. respect to the indictment? Yes. Uh, Mr. Stevens, have you been arrested on these charges? Have you been arrested on these charges? Yes. Okay. And, Your Honor, the state is unaware of any outstanding warrants related to these charges. Um, Ms. Wow, Gordon, do you know, dog. Are you aware of any outstanding warrants as it relates to these charges? I'm not. Okay. Has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for the charge in which you are wow. pleading to? Yes. And do you understand that um, as to count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, that it carries a minimum of five years and a maximum of 20 years in custody? Yes. <clears throat> do you understand this is a negotiated plea of guilty, which means that the state will recommend to the court a sentence that I will read, but the court does not have to accept this recommendation and that the court can sentence you to the maximum on each charge. Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that this plea, the state's offer on this plea is as to count one, 10 years to serve two years, commute to time served with a balance of eight years on probation. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that there are certain special conditions as it relates? Hey. What did we say? When that lady started mentioning them plea deals and she stood up, I said, he gonna take it. Eight years probation, two time served, you don't go to jail. She stood up. I said, he gonna take it. And this is, I'm saying like, if you keep playing out here, acting like you don't know what it is, bro. Keep putting yourself in these type of positions and you're going right down the same path. Exactly. I like what you just said. I don't think he understand this why people should stay in school. Because, and to be, and to be real, and I got my GED. But a lot of this stuff, I can understand, you know, of course, I have been in the court system. But a lot of this stuff, bro, it go over your head. And you have to get someone to help you determine the terminology of what they what these people be saying and you right motherfucker don't understand until that motherfucker but motherfucker understand in jail or out of jail take a plea deal i'm out of jail you know motherfucker understand that shit but when they start talking about all this other shit motherfucker be lost one you shall abide in full by each and
Nah, but you understand terminology, though. Yeah, you don't learn about the court system in school, but you learn words. All of the terms of this negotiated agreement and your failure to abide by any of the terms of the agreement wow. shall constitute a violation of this agreement. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you understand that you shall testify truthfully about all matters relating to this case? <sighs> upon which you are questioned at any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts alleged in this indictment. Yeah. Do you understand that in accordance with testifying truthfully about all matters related to this case, you acknowledge that each and all the statements contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments portion of this agreement are true and that you will testify truthfully about those statements and any matters related to this case when asked to do so. Yes. Do you understand as a special condition, she condition you shall no guns unless your right to do so is restored? It's the rap. Yeah, that Young Thug going to jail. To random drug screens by the Department of Community. If Young Thug beat this boy, I tell you, God damn. Boy, this got to, if Young Thug beat this situation right here, she. Any supervision. God any damn. Any agency designated by this court. Yes. That you shall commit no criminal acts. Yes. And that you will relinquish any Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments. Facts, so, Davis. You have right no more rights than to say no so. Attempt at trial to assert a Fifth Amendment privilege when questioned on these matters. Do you this is tip. Yes. Do you understand that some of the factual acknowledgments that you acknowledge is one that Young Slime Life, aka YSL, is an organization made up of three or more members or associates? who share common identifiers that include, but are not limited to, colors, hand signals, and terminology, who have committed crimes intended to increase the notoriety, street this credibility, day seven. and reputation of YSL. Is yes. that one of your acknowledgments? Yes. Do you also acknowledge that you were one of the founding members? Yo, my boy King said, so they let, um, they let killers go so they can give him life in prison. Think about that. Niggas out here that actually committing hard crimes get to go free so they can get another man. Boy, this shit ain't no joke. Slime life. Yeah. This shit ain't no you joke, man. Right? that you committed an aggravated assault as alleged in count one of this indictment by wow. brandishing a gun at an undercover police officer that was surveilling a wow. vehicle that was hijacked from a woman. Yes. Do you acknowledge that in October of 2014, you were arrested with a red bandana and you were observed with a YSL tattoo and a Cleveland That's Avenue tick. Rock Crew tattoo, amongst other tattoos. Yes. Do you also acknowledge wow. in that same incident when you were asked by law enforcement about your Rock Crew, your Rock Crew, and your YSL tattoos, that you truthfully advised law enforcement that you were a member of a gang called Rock Crew, but that that group is no longer going by that name and now goes by YSL, which originally stood for Young Slime Life. Yes. Did you also, in that same conversation, um, advise law enforcement that YSL originally stood for Young Slime Life, but the group began calling itself Young Successful Lifestyle after Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, signed a record deal? Yes. Do you also acknowledge that the statements made to police about Rock Crew and YSL, as reflected in sections three and four above, which I just mentioned, are true and accurate? Yes. You acknowledge that you've been accused of and arrested for robbing women. Yes. You acknowledge that you are the same person referred to as Tick in the song by Young Thug entitled You in the verse She Getting Robbed by Tick. Yes. You also acknowledge that on October... Excuse me. I just told y'all, this is the guy named Tick. He just now taking his plea deal. This is day seven of the trial. The trial start Monday. Um, This is... um. Day seven, I was on vacation for Christmas and thanks and um, New Year, so I wasn't able to watch day seven of the hearing. So we are watching it now. But the trial starts Monday on the ninth. Um, but I'm shocked right now. I'm shocked right now because this is crazy, dog. And we and y'all wonder why some of these people are taking plea deals. All these people are snitching on each other. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. You, we just seen four niggas, four to seven people, not have a lawyer, dog. Ladybug, get you, your name, Ladybug. 
Throw some wind and jump in the creek. Um, we have seen seven people not have a lawyer. Is that not crazy to y'all? Is that not crazy? Seven people did not have a lawyer, but they caught up in a in a in a RICO. That should scare any of y'all. That should scare any of y'all. 2021, you participate in a group chat with fellow YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, wow. aka a Young Thug, and YSL associates Wooney Lee. That's some AKA scary shit. Slime Life Shorty, wherein Jeffrey Williams stated, "YSL rule the work world, kid." Y'all just start bringing me the money. Why? Me the streets is a mill. With me. Do you acknowledge that? Yeah. Do you acknowledge that on May 13, 2021, you participated in another group chat with fellow YSL? Wow, my boy. Bro said catching a Rico with two millionaires and you have no lawyer. These niggas caught a Rico with two millionaires and have no lawyer? And y'all still thinking that this street shit is the way to go? Man, what the Williams, fuck? AKA Young Thug and YSL Associates, Martinez Arnold, Two millionaires Farley, and no lawyers. Greer, Antonio Sumlin, wow. Jimmy Lee, where Jeff Jeffrey Williams asked, y'all ain't beat him up or shot him yet. Puns. Then I like what? Y'all getting soft. Yes. Do you acknowledge that the gas station at 151 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL Associates sell drugs? Yes. <laughs> Bro, say you don't need no lawyer if you tell him. Is a location uh, where YSL Associates man, sell drugs. Man, that's crazy. And also, do you acknowledge that you cannot truthfully assert that anyone's charged in this yeah. indictment is yeah. not guilty of the crimes of, as alleged in this indictment, and you will not make any attempt at trial prior to trial or after trial to exonerate or exculpate anyone charged this indictment of the crimes alleged in this indictment, yeah. nor will you claim that anyone on this indictment is not guilty of the crime as charged in this indictment. Yes. Do you also acknowledge that if you violate the plea agreement, the district attorney can and will use a statement during any judicial proceeding? Yes. You also understand and acknowledge that if you violate any portion of this plea agreement before, <sighs> during, or after the initial trial of this case, you are subject to having the entire the entirety of your sentence revoked. Yes. And you could be sentenced to prison. Yes. Do you also understand if you violate any terms of this plea agreement, it will result in your sentence being revoked, and the district attorney will recommend that you serve up to the maximum sentence allowed by law in the Georgia Department of Corrections. Yes. Do you also understand fully that if the prior to the conclusion of the initial trial of this case that you fail or refuse to testify to any fact that you now acknowledge in this plea agreement, such failure or refusal constitutes a violation of this plea agreement and you'll be subject to being sentenced to serve the remainder of your sentence confined within the Georgia Department of Corrections? Yes. Do you also acknowledge that no promises, agreements, or conditions fuck? have been made other than those set forth in this document and none will be entered into unless memorialized in writing and signed by all parties? Yes. And did you, along with your attorney, sign this document and dated today's date, February, excuse me, December 29, 2022? Yes. And that's your signature? Yes. This is day seven, Matt. Do you understand that this plea may be used to enhance sentencing on other convictions in this jurisdiction as well as in other jurisdictions, including the federal courts? Yes. Do you understand if you are currently on probation or pro parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today? What on it? That all well, they have to say that your probation, probation or parole. Why well, that ain't in the paper, revoked. though? That's a boy can write. That's just a boy. I ain't read it. Can you repeat I'm, Sure. I'm giving I'm letting you know your rights. That's not something that's going to well, I can't tell you that something that's not gonna happen, but that's not something that we're wow. asking for the to do. But that's something that that's a right that I have to read to you. All right. All right. He getting a plea. Yo, Lord Jesus, what the fuck? This nigga is getting a plea deal to go home. He's still up there with some aggression. Why they ain't in the paper though? And the woman, it's not nothing that gonna be in the paper, nigga. 
Man, Lord, man, this, man, y'all, bro, we got to stay out the motherfucking streets, bro. Nigga don't even know what's going on. Man, this is dumb motherfucking bullshit, dog. This is, I want to say it's embarrassing, but, man, nigga, nigga up there. Nigga in a whole plea deal. And if you are currently on probation or pro parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today. What are you on it? That, I'm all they have to say that your probation probation. Why that ain't in the paper done. though? That's a boy can lie. That's just. I ain't read that. Can you repeat that? Sure. I'm giving. I'm letting you know you're right. Man, that's what the fuck? I can't tell you that something that's not going to happen. That's not something that we're asking for the court to do. But that's something that, that's a right that I have to read to you. All right. Fuck off. Fuck off. She's so much. Yes. All right. So I'm reading your rights, ma'am. I'm going back to reading your rights that you're giving up by entering into a plea. Do you understand that if you are currently on probation or parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today? Yes. Do you understand that if you are placed on probation of any kind, you cannot violate any criminal laws of any governmental unit or any special conditions of probation without being subject to revocation for the balance of the sentence? Yes. Do you understand that you are not allowed to possess or use a firearm while on probation? Yes. Do you understand that if you are not a United States citizen, a guilty plea conviction will affect your immigration status and will result in deportation? Yes. <clears throat> Do you understand? Excuse me. Do you understand that there may be other adverse or unfavorable consequences as a result of this guilty plea conviction, just as there would be from a conviction following a trial? Yes. For example, your guilty plea. I'm assuming a lot of y'all are new to my channel. All you gangsters are not wanted over here. We don't care about y'all. Y'all are the reason that we are slow and incompetent. 29 years old. He's, look at his head. Look at his head. 29 years old. You niggas are so worried about being street niggas. I've been trying to just keep my composure and not say that to you dummies. Can you please leave the chat so I don't have to ban you or block you? We don't give a fuck about your loyalty to the streets, bro, because there is no loyalty. So you out here lying to the kids. You out here portraying something that is not real. Young Thug and Gunna are multi-millionaires. Gunna's already at the house. Who safe? T.I. snitch. Boosie had a 15-year-old kid to take his shit from, and, but that's okay for y'all, though, because it's not your family member. Get the fuck out of here, bro. We don't give a fuck about you niggas in here that's supposed to be so gangster. You're not the only one that did crimes and shit. We're not here to promote that. We don't give a fuck, nigga. Bye. We don't care how street you is, how tough you are. We, we don't want nothing to do with you. Are you not understanding that? I'm sitting here looking at the comments. I'm just trying to see. Man, at some point, they'll leave, right? Man, they ain't them snitching. They ain't. Bro, all of them snitch. Who happened snitch? That's supposed to be so gangster. Y'all give them passes, but you won't give a nigga like him a pass. But you'll give T.I. a pass. You give Gunner a pass. You get all these boots to get a pass for letting a 15-year-old kid take his shit. Um, who else? Everybody. All the nigga that's supposed to be so tough in the game get a pass from y'all because y'all love these celebrities, bro. Y'all love these niggas. But when it come down to your relatives, when it come down to just an average joke, he don't get no pass. See, I still making millions. Ain't nobody going to say nothing about that. Boosie still making millions. Ain't nobody saying nothing about that. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm getting slight. We don't give a fuck about you, nigga. We don't want you over here. We don't want none of you street niggas over here. Because we lived the life and now we retired from that life because we understand that it was stupid and that the system trapped us into poverty so we we had no other choice but to be that. But now that we grown and we mature, no nigga, I would not commit that crime. Why? Because guess what? Either I'm going to be a snitch. Um, in their case, either they're going to be a snitch or they're going to be in jail for a long time. So look at this dude, 29 years old. He don't even know the difference between reading rights and reading what's in the indictment. He don't even know the difference. 29 years old. 
We don't give a fuck about you street niggas because all y'all are snitches and all y'all think it's cool that you've been in jail for a long time. You know how many people out here have committed crimes and never come out here and brag? We don't talk about that shit because we don't want to promote it. You niggas throw, man, nigga, I did 25, I did 30. But I got niggas in here that did that time and they trying to tell kids the opposite. Niggas, stay out of them situation because eventually you not going to have a lawyer. Y'all don't give a fuck about it. none of them niggas that are in this indictment with Young Thug. I see niggas in the chat talking about yeah, them niggas in the indictment with Young Thug and Gunner, but hey, they ain't got no lawyer that's on them. Well, I thought we supposed to be a family. The fuck you mean I'm in the indictment with two millionaires and I don't got no lawyer? The fuck is you talking about? But this is the code that y'all want to praise and live by. Niggas in the indictment with two millionaires and you telling me seven niggas ain't got a lawyer so they got to wait and go sit back in jail. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Why? Please leave, nigga. We don't want you over here. We not. I keep saying, y'all watch this shit for entertainment. We watch this shit for education. We want to show you niggas what will happen to you if you get caught up in this situation. A nigga going to snitch on you or a nigga going to take you out. But see, the celebrity get a pass. All these 6 9 got out of jail. Ain't nobody try to do that to him. George Zimmerman killed um, that boy Trey Vaughn. Y'all ain't trying to do that to them. But you know what? When it comes to a regular civilian, they'll smoke you for being a snitch. They'll smoke you for doing something you shouldn't do. But these other people, somehow they get a pass. They get to come back and make millions and, and tell the community that they still a gangster. They still this and that. Fuck, fuck you niggas, bro. You niggas in here are so stupid, bro. You're so... Man, it don't make no sense, dog. For you niggas to be this old and still promoting the life of this... You still thinking that we supposed to be cheering for Young Thug. What we pointing out is this, the DA, how the DA going to be crooked. They're going to lie and put in, put shit on you that ain't on, that ain't supposed to be on you. Or they're going to put you in a situation to where you had to become a snitch. So either way, you're in a lose-lose situation. Young Thug is about to go to jail. Whether you like it or not. I'm not saying I want a nigga to go to jail because I understand what jail is like. I have been in this situation. Um, of jail and I have been in the courtrooms I have been I have talked to my friends for multiple years and listening to them come contemplate suicide contemplate living hearing me doing shit out in the real world that they don't even know exists see I got niggas I actually talk to and I've been in these situations some of you niggas have been in here in these situations as well but you come in the chat acting like we supposed to give you a hand clap Congratulations, my nigga, you did 25. Can you go out and tell your story so these niggas don't commit the same crime? But that ain't what you want to do because you don't get no credit for that. Because in the black community, we don't get props for that. Fuck you, nigga. You go play the case. Get your dumb ass out of here. Once again, we got idiots in this bitch. We not over here for entertainment. I sit and I try to ignore you niggas, but you all y'all just coming in here. So I'll be on your thug shit. Why aren't you in here? This is for educational purpose, nigga. We don't care about how hood you are. You not the only one that uh, is hood just because we don't come out here and tell the world, nigga, you know I done got some shit done. Oh, because I don't say that, you think I'm weak. Well, that's your opinion. As long as you don't bother me, I ain't gonna bother you. But it's like you niggas want a handcuff because you done did some dumb shit. You so proud because that's what we think. Man, I got to get that nigga a star in the back. That nigga put in that work. But look at all these niggas that put in that work with Young Thug and don't have a fucking lawyer. Y'all don't think that's bad? Oh, I see some niggas in here saying, hey, that's on them. Nah, nigga. If we supposed to be an organization and a family, how the fuck I don't have a lawyer, Young Thug? Gunner? Man, get the fuck out of here. When are you when are you when are you tough niggas gonna leave the chat? Dumbass niggas, bro. Alright, let me ban a couple of these idiots right quick. Cause see, see, these niggas so stupid, they don't know how to walk away. They wanna be so proud to be a gangster. They don't know how to remove themselves from a situation. Dumbass niggas, bro. Niggas, I, niggas so happy to be, yo, man, I held it down. I committed that crime. Y'all held it down, dog. You know, I'm solid in the game, bro. I'm solid, dog. You know, I put in that work. 
All right. <sighs> Once again, y'all, for the ones that's in here, we do this for educational purpose, man. We got nephews, we got sons, we got daughters that live this life trying to live up to these celebrities. These celebrities get a pass for snitching, but the civilians like us, we don't get a pass for snitching or cooperating. We don't get the high fancy lawyers to fight for us, but these other people, they get it. So this is why we try to tell you to not follow suit to these niggas because you won't have a nice lawyer to fight for you. You won't have this. So why these niggas so fucking stupid, you have to do your time because you ain't have a lawyer in a nice suit like this that knew your name. Nigga, I done went to court to where the lawyer mispronounced my name many times. And I had to tell this nigga, man, I told you my name. He said, man, I, I, I'm going to get that. How you going to tell me you supposed to be my lawyer that framed for me and you mispronouncing my name? But see, when you get a nice lawyer like this, they don't mispronounce your name. They make sure they get that shit right. But see, it's a bigger deal for them. It's not a big deal to fight for you little civilians. Us little civilians. Niggas so proud to leave their family behind. Niggas so proud to leave their kids behind like they winning something out this bitch. Stupid motherfucker. We all have made choices. And I'm not saying that some of the choices we were put in this situation because of the environment. I get that and I understand that. But don't try to come in here and try to sit here and try to convince us that we need to, man, freedom, nigga, bro. Woo, woo. Man, get your ass on, dog. It may affect your right to vote, your right to hold public office, your right to serve on a jury, your right to obtain a passport, your right to receive, possess, or transport a firearm, or the ability to obtain employment. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty to a felony, if you use, receive, possess, or transport a firearm... <laughs> Shout out to all the niggas that say they used to be street niggas, but now they swear ass niggas. Because we get it, bro. We was we was following our family members, trying to hang with our with our cousins, trying to hang with the gang. And we did shit. And guess what? At the end of the day, it been it been your own niggas that pointed you out. But some I guess some of y'all ain't experienced that. So you know, you you think it's a or use a firearm in a crime, you will be guilty of a oh, crime which may carry yeah. a sentence of 1 to 15 years. Yes. Man, I appreciate that, big dog. Street stuff ain't worth it. Hit the like button. I appreciate it, big dog. Entering a plea of guilty. Yes. Do you understand if you went to trial, that you had the right to a trial by jury, the right to see, hear, and confront witnesses called to testify against you, and the right to testify or to remain silent and not incriminate yourself? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty, you are giving up the following rights? And after each right, I'm going to ask you to say yes or no if you understand, okay? You understand that you're giving up, giving up the right to a trial by jury. Yes. The right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself. Yes. The right to confront witnesses against you. Yes. The right to assistance of counsel hired by you or to court-appointed counsel if you cannot afford an attorney at a trial of your case. Yes. The right to the presumption of innocence. Yes. The right to testify on your own behalf and to present other evidence. Yes. The right to subpoena witnesses and compel the production of evidence. Yes. The right to have the charges against you proved beyond a reasonable doubt. Yes. The right to appeal if convicted of these charges after a trial. Yes. Has anyone forced, threatened, or promised you anything to get you to enter a guilty plea? No. Is it your decision to waive these rights and enter, a, and enter a guilty plea because you are in fact guilty? Yes. With respect to indictment 22 SC 183572, where you're charged with one count of conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act, how do you plead? Guilty. Is this guilty plea freely and voluntarily given with a full knowledge what? of the charges against you? Yes. Do you understand that you have only a limited right to appeal this guilty plea conviction? Yes. Do you understand that you have four years from today's date for the felony charge to file a habeas corpus petition challenging the voluntariness of this plea? Yes. And, Your Honor, if this case were to go to trial, the state would expect to prove that the organization YSL um, is an enterprise um, that this defendant is a part of that enterprise along with his other co-defendants and together 
on or between the 24th day of January 2013 and the 8th day of May. And 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 I just want to get. I want y'all to understand something. I'm not wishing for nobody to go to jail. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. I'm not wishing for nobody to go to jail. I'm simply saying that it seems like y'all are slow though. Some of y'all are slow. I'm simply saying for all my guys in here that went to jail, for y'all that did a hard time, would you have done that much time if you had a, a lawyer like this? That's all I'm trying to get you to see. The world don't treat you the same. Young Thug was able to get down to eight counts out of 65 counts. That's what I'm trying to get you niggas to see, but y'all so silly. You think I'm trying to diss nigga that been in jail. Why would I do that when my family is surrounded by jail? I'm not, I just, nigga, what? I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to get you simple niggas to see that. You would never get the opportunity that these celebrities get. They get the opportunity to snitch, go to jail, and come home because they said they was mistreated in jail. When will that ever happen for you? Meek Mill was in jail for how long before they say he got racially profiled? How many niggas have been in jail for being racially profiled? Did we just... Emmett Till? How many niggas was killed for being racially profiled? How many motherfuckers was targeted? But they don't get this. They don't get nobody to fight for them. I'm trying to explain something to you niggas. I'm not dissing y'all that have been in these situations. I'm trying to get you to see that as long as we keep believing in these actors, these actors are, are they get a different type of pass. Donald Trump get to grab a woman by the pussy and nothing happened. What going to happen to your motherfucking ass if you go do what Donald Trump did? What I'm saying, the world will play different for politicians and celebrities and influencers. But us civilian that try to follow their footsteps, we gonna get the maximum. We gonna get the maximum. And you know, we gonna get a lawyer that just got this fucking job and they trying to prove something that it, hey, here you go. And the lawyer gets you in there and she don't, he or she don't know what they really doing. They just learning. They try with you. Ah, I'm gonna get them next time. Then they try with the next person. Then they try with the next person. Then all of a sudden they grow and they keep learning. Now they're able to beat some cases. I'm just trying to simply get y'all to see the bigger picture, man. But it seems like y'all are so caught up in the celebrity shit, man. 2022, they did a lawfully conspire. I, I like to that. I like what you just said, no panic. Directly and indirectly, an interest in and control of United States currency and other personal property through a pattern of racketeering activity. And also, while associated with an enterprise, did unlawfully conspire to conduct and participate in directly and indirectly such enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. That exactly well down young slime life, also known as YSL, that they did conspire to associate together with others for the common purpose of illegally obtaining money and property through a bingo, Mr. Premier activity and conducting and participating in the enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. And in furtherance of the conspiracy, the defendants engaged in the activities, in certain activities which are enumerated. Some of those activities include preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, power, and territory of the enterprise through acts of racketeering activity, including murder, assault, and threats of violence. Preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation power and territory of the enterprise by the posting of messages, images, videos, and songs demonstrating an allegiance to the enterprise and a willingness to engage in violence on its behalf, that maintaining armed individuals ready and willing to preserve, protect, and That's not the true, King. power and territory of the enterprise. King, they don't circle the block on celebrities. They only circle the blocks on poor people. Celebrities don't have to go through that. See, they tell y'all one thing in the media to make us believe that these people's life are in danger. 
They tell us that these people's life are in danger, right? Do they life really be in danger? Or that's what they tell us in the media? Do they life? That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see, man. But it seems like it, it's so hard for people to understand reality versus the internet and the picture that they paint for us. What do you see with your eyes? They spend a block on poor people. They don't spend a block on six nines. They don't spend the blocks on the TIs, the Boosie, the Gunners, the Young Thugs. They not going to go through no shit that we go through. These people can go live their life, but they tell y'all on the internet, look at what 6 9 doing. 6 9 put his whole crew in prison. Is he in danger? This man living his best life. These people have protections. You not going to have no protection. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. You can't play by the same rules for the street niggas that's in here. I'm not trying to diss you. I'm trying to show you something. Why you promoting that violent shit and that street shit, your family member along with you never can be protected the way that these people protected. Niggas fucking clueless, bro. Enterprise through the use of violence and obtaining money, weapons, and other property through acts of racketeering activity, including robbery, theft, and the unlawful sale and distribution of drugs. The state will also prove that um, YSL is a criminal street gang that started in the late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta, Georgia, that some of the founders were Jeffrey Williams, also known as Young Thug, also known as Slime, Walter Murphy. That's crazy, Marvin. And this defendant, Tritavius We are not the same, Trace. And, and when, when we start to understand that we can live our life, we can't live our life because we want to we wanna follow these. We want to be goals of Beyonce's and Jay-Z's. How can you look at another, how can you look at a celebrity and say that is relationship goals? How? You don't even live in the same world. You come off your porch and see poverty all around you, but you look at celebrities and say, this is gold. Man, I want to do it like that. Man, I want the Lamborghini Center. Bro, you work a nine to five. You don't go out here and scam people. Now, if you get into the business of scamming, you go do what the preacher's doing, lying. What the preacher that just got locked up for fraud? Mr. Bishop Whitehead. I keep trying to explain to y'all. We have been brainwashed by a different type of government. We have a system that governs our train of thoughts and the way we move because we feel like certain thing is wrong. But if you play in a different ball game, what that dude name? Cordon or something like that? You think he playing everything the right way to get where he at? You think he did everything the right way? What that nigga name? George Cadone or something. I can't, I don't forgot the nigga name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. You think these people play by the rules? These people don't play by the rules, but we've been brainwashed to play by the rules, so we'll never obtain the thing that they have. We'll never live a lifestyle of Beyonce and Jay-Z. But so many people will look at that and say, man, that's what I got to get right there. Oh, I got to be like that. We'll look at the Rihanna's and ASAP Rockies. We'll feel like, we'll look at the uh, Russell Simmons and the Sierras and feel like those are the goals of the world. We'll look at the futures and be like, man, I got to have all the bitches like that. It's a scam. It's a lie. Yeah, Andrew Cardone, Cardone, whatever that nigga name. You think he did everything legally? Man, stop playing with yourself. That's what I'm saying. When we learn to break away from this matrix or this, this false reality that they give us, the Andrew Tate's of the world. When you start to say it, these are just people playing different characters in a movie, but they playing it in real life. When we can separate ourselves from that, then we can start to live a healthy life. But we so stressful trying to compete. We so stressful trying to buy cars to make people think that we got it. We putting ourselves in debt. We out here, man, we going crazy trying to keep up with the system. 
But these people would tell y'all, Elon Musk and the rest of them, uh, tell us that they are fighting the same war we fight. When we can't even eat at night, when we have to go to sleep, we hear gun violence. Do you think T.I. hear gun violence at his estate? Do you think Boosie hear that type of activity at his estate? These niggas come to the hood, make a song like they living in the condition that they used to live in. They done made it out of that condition, but they still give us that same parts. And we supposed to somehow graduate from it. We supposed to listen to this garbage and somehow grow and do better with our life. How the fuck that's supposed to work? I just get tired of seeing the same dumb shit, man. And niggas try to come in here and act like when we watch this Young Thug case, they get so excited. Man, my nigga Young Thug, dog, he fighting them cases, boy. What the fuck is this supposed to be exciting about this? That um, the YSL uses a variety of identifiers, including colors, clothing, tattoos, and hand signs, as well as verbal and written identifiers. And we would show that this defendant had a tacit understanding of the enterprise and further the enterprise's goals with several acts. Some of those acts are from January of 2013. This defendant, in which he pled guilty, was accused of aggravated assault, in which um, on that day, um, an officer with the APD police department was working in an undercover capacity. That, def that officer was at an apartment complex in the Cleveland Avenue area doing surveillance on a vehicle that had been hijacked by another YSL associate. <laughs> Trump told them he ain't paying his taxes. And he stood on it. Did he, did he go to jail? No. <laughs> Joe Hunter Biden, Joe Biden put out the 94 crime bill, locked up the damn near entire black community, and somehow he came out and said, if you don't vote for him, you not black. This nigga done locked up everybody in our family member for weed. But his son come out with all this motherfucking crap and nobody say nothing. It was just on the news for a day or two. Hunter Biden went back to his job being a crackhead. But you see, we don't live in the same world. They have different rules. This is what I'm saying. They get to come out here and make laws and convince our kids to go out here and, and, and get the switches and shit like that. My boy just sent me a clip of um, Boss, what his name? Boss Richie, Richie or whatever this nigga is. Apparently, they just exposed him of being a snitch. What they going to do? To, they don't stop his money. What people saying? Man, everybody snitching now. So, I mean, they ain't really no big deal. What did what that? Uh, mm, let me see, can I find it? We're gonna talk about Dana White tonight too. Look at this. As y'all see, snitching don't work the same for them. It don't work the same. They can cooperate with the federal agents. But if we do it as civilian, somebody going to spend a block on us. They'll spend a block on us. But they're going to continue to allow these people to continue to make money and go out and blossom into the world. It don't make sense. My boy just sent me something. Look at this right here. Mm, damn, I can't see it. Hold on, I'm going to have to get that tweet. I, apparently, this same dude just got caught up. Oh, there you go. Damn, y'all can't see it. How can I get this? Okay, here you go. Look at this. I'm not the one that, that yeah, reeks like it. You go through this every time, man. You reek like it. You go through this every time. You go through this every time, bro. You get pulled. Stop, 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 moving. I'm gonna lock these cuffs, otherwise I'm gonna keep getting tighter on you. Right? I already told you, if it's misdemeanor weed, I'm not charging you for it. It's gotta be over 28 to be a felony, okay? And even then, I'm not gonna charge you for it today, at least. You hear what I'm telling you? Listen, be, listen, keep being real with you. Um, I can't lie to you about that. That would be like entrapment. 
I know you do, because I can smell it still coming from you. Go ahead and grab it up. This shit happened in real time, and we still ain't paying attention? Look at that. <laughs> it's felony. Um, over 20 grams is felony in Florida. He's got, obviously, about 56 grams. So what? what do you do? I'm gonna cut you He's going to go to jail, right? All right. I can't say you're not going to be charged later, but you're going to get loose tonight. That's what I told you, isn't it? I'm not the one that... So, for all y'all out here, are you not paying attention? The game is rigged. They convince us to live this life and they get away with it. They make money selling lies to us. Our kids and our brothers and sisters go out here and, and, and get involved in this lifestyle and they don't get the same treatment. Are y'all not seeing it? The police just let this nigga go. He had 50 grams. That's a felony. This nigga's supposed to be in jail. Why he ain't in jail? Come on, man. Come on, y'all better pay attention. I appreciate you sending that to me, bro. Y'all better quit bullshitting, acting like y'all don't understand. The game is different. While operating in that undercover capacity, Mr. Stevens came out of the apartment along with that other YSL associate and brandished his um, handgun at that officer. They yes, get paid to keep us docile. Another action honor where Mr. Stevens has a great, a great statement on social media. Um, he has another several pictures on social media. Some of those captions on that on the video, excuse me, on the on the image. Wow, BJ. Identify YSL by using the term slime shit, and actually tags Mr. Stevens um, with his one of his former um, Instagram handles as original slime underscore underscore slug. Also in January 2015, he is. Um, he has a, a drug incident that comes from 1813. No, okay, I know y'all tired of me pausing it. Look at how long we still reading counts out from this one individual. But all because they want him to testify against Young Thug, he gonna be let out on probation. We've been reading counts from this nigga, I feel like, for 30, 40 minutes now. I know I'm pausing it, but goddamn, how long are they gonna talk about this one man with all these counts? And somehow he about to go home with his family. There's niggas in jail that'll never see daylight again. All because they didn't have a good lawyer. Or because they wasn't part of a, a, a global scheme to get another man. We've been reading counts out from this nigga, I feel like, an hour. <laughs> Sylvan Road, in which he was found with narcotics in the vehicle. He said, I'm old. <laughs> Also, in one of the counts in our indictment, Your Honor, he was in a car. Um, I don't know, Stephen King. Avenue, which is in the YSL stronghold. Bro, they he still reading out the shit from this nigga. This and this nigga finna go home. Shannon Jackson, also known as Shannon Stillwell. While in the car, officers smelled the odor of marijuana. Upon the search of the vehicle, they found marijuana and a gun. This is the guy named the T. Finding both the gun. So this guy right here that they have, he know all the ins and out of the organization. He was there from the start. He know everything. So they want to turn him. So they got him a deal. So because they want to turn him, they ran out all this shit that supposedly he done done, but somehow he got eight years probation, two years time served. So um, he finna go home. As well as Mr. Jackson were both convicted felons and they were then charged accordingly. Your Honor, as you heard, that nigga said he locked my black ass up for a gram. <laughs> he's also been engaged in conversations with um, other members of this indictment. Um, we won't go back over what was said, but you also heard that through his through the factual acknowledgement in this case. So, Your Honor, based upon um, the, that factual synopsis um, and uh, Mr. Stevens' affiliation, we were asked we will ask that the court accept his plea. Also, we would like to tender Stacey to one TF. What's up, Bass? One which? TF. One TF? Yes. Any objection, Ms. Gladden? No, Your Honor. All right, one, this nigga had one enough TF shit on that you? list, bro, to be uh, in jail for him. Your Honor, S as in Stevens. CS? T as in Trontavious, S as in Stevens. <laughs> All right. Any objection, madam? No, Your Honor. All right, it's admitted for purpose of plea. <clears throat> Miss, um, 
killed and those facts that you uh, <laughs> how in the world he got probation <laughs> those are facts that you would the state would have proven had the case gone to trial beyond a reason I appreciate it Mike to Mr. Stevens yes your honor okay all right Ms. Gladden uh, again good evening madam anything you want to present on Mr. Stevens behalf just briefly your honor <clears throat> go ahead of course BJ Judge, I just wanted to point out as the court of course um, can ascertain by the fact that he was only charged in the RICO counts um, he's not involved and hasn't been charged separately in any uh, criminal activity. This nigga 29 years old? Man, look at what that street life will do to you, bro. 20, I'm 30, dog. And I feel like I look good. Well, look at what 29 will do to you when you live that street life, man. And I got, I got scars to prove that I live the street life. But I ain't got to do that for y'all because that's not my, what I'm here to show. This dude is 29 years old. God damn. Regarding this case, it has been alleged against some other co-defendants. He had a string of issues in 2011, 12, 13. He went to prison in 2015 and has been out since the end of 2018 and since then he's been a model parolee he's passed all of his urine screens he's not gotten in any more trouble in fact they put a parole hold i heard about that no big box that this was mostly based on old crimes um yeah. and a few posts that were innocuous and some pictures they did remove the parole hold so i'm asking the court to accept the state's recommendation um and i did just wanted to point out that he's tried to be um, a good citizen and do what he's supposed to do um, uh, since he's been out of prison, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Mr. Stevens, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, do you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this case with your attorney, Ms. Gladden, your satisfaction? Yes, Your Honor. Did she explain to you the various constitutional rights you give up by pleading guilty to your satisfaction? Yes, Your Honor. Those are the same rights that my prosecutor, Ms. Hilton, just set forth on the record a few minutes ago. Do you have any questions about those rights you wish to ask me? No, Your Honor. All right. I am holding the indictment in this case. Okay. And on page six of the indictment, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Is this your signature on the on the page of this indictment above the word defendant? Yes, sir. All right. Before signing this indictment, did you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this indictment with your attorney, Ms. Gladden, to your satisfaction? Yes. What? Yes. Yeah. Do you need more time to discuss it with her? No. I'm okay. I just want... Is right, he, well, is you he planning it, up there? You had an opportunity to talk with her. Yeah. And you don't want to talk with her about the indictment anymore? No. Okay, all right. I'll note the indictment's been signed and the plea has been entered. Um, Mr. Stevens, based upon the responses that you've given during the court's inquiry, I find that your guilty plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis for your plea. I'm going to accept your plea as tendered and is negotiated. To count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the court will sentence you to 10 years to serve two years. I'll commute that to the time you've already served with a balance of eight years on probation subject to the special conditions that have already been set forth on the record. Um, I'll go through those with you right now. But is that your understanding as to the base sentence? Yes, sir. All right. So you shall abide by each and every uh, condition of the negotiated agreement. That's the one that uh, you signed and Ms. Um, Gladden signed along with the state's counsel. Remember that one? Yes, sir. Uh, that, sta uh, that state's SC1. Hey, is it, is it just me? Or he don't sound like he's going to cooperate too well on probation. Like... I know this may be hard for him because now he's going to be labeled as a snitch. He, he was a right-hand man. But it just don't sound to me like he really want to go home. Like, I can't, I don't know, do he want to go home or is he disappointed that he came this far and he got to be labeled as a snitch? Like, what's up with my mans? I don't know what's going on with him. Do he want to go home or do he not want to go home? It, it sounds like he, when he get home, he going to fuck up probation. As it pertains hey, to you. Hey, he found it convincing, okay. man. All right. Um, you should test My nigga said he got six. Long. I got six years for a car accident, and he nigga getting probation for a RICO. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, wow. In this case, upon which you're questioned in any trial or judicial proceedings stemming from the facts alleged in the indictment. You agree to do that, right? Okay. In accordance with testifying truthfully, 
uh, about the uh, statements contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments, which was already read into the record, are true, you shall testify about those statements in any matters related to the case when you're asked to do so. Yes, sir. Okay. You possess, you'll possess no guns unless your right to do so is re restored. Is that right? Yes, sir. You shall submit to random screens as uh, required by the Department of Community Supervision and any agency designated by this court. Is that right? Yes, sir. You shall commit no criminal acts. Yes, sir. All right. And also, you'll be subject to a curfew from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. unless you're otherwise working, in school, or an emergency situation arises. How old are you, sir? 29. 29? Yes, sir. Do you have any children? Yes, sir. How many children do you have? Three. How old are they? 11 and two seven-year-olds. Okay. So let's say, for example, your seven-year-old gets sick. Or your is it 12-year-old or 10-year-old? 11. 11 year old gets sick. Damn. And it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You need to take him to a dock in a box or some other the emergency room. That wouldn't violate your probation. That's okay? Or you need to go pick up your mother at the airport um, in Hartsfield um, at very early in the morning. That wouldn't violate your probation, okay? Right. But if you're out someplace where you're not supposed to be, like a strip club, past this particular point in time at 10 o'clock in the evening, you'll have some problems. You'll be coming back to see me. You should be at home anyways. It's a statistical probability that it's less likely that crime will find you or you will be involved in criminality if you're at home between the hours of 11 and 4 in the morning. Okay, unfortunately, those are the times that we have a lot of things that go, go on within our city that um, it's not a guarantee, but it'll lessen your being involved in that for, for your family's sake and for your sake. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. And um, you can't have any contact with anybody else in this indictment until these proceedings are over. Yes, sir. And what I mean by that is until the appellate procedure in this particular case is over, if any. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions about my sentence? No, sir. Ms. Gladden or Ms. Hilton, any clarifications on the court's entry of sentence or defense entry of plea? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Nothing from defense, Your Honor. All right, then that'll be the sentence of the court. Mr. That Steve, was just an court. example. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. We're in recess on this matter. Okay. Man. Damn, dog. Edward. Two nine five. Two one two nine one five. Damn. They almost let it address play it off like that. What the fuck? I had to pause it because I don't know if they cut the mic off. I don't want to play his address. What the fuck? They almost let that nigga address play out. Oh, hell no, nah, man. The people tripping, dog. Man, I sit here and cooperate it. Now y'all gonna let the address play out like that. Yo, come on now. Y'all can't be on that fuck shit, man. That's some whole shit right there. Them people playing games, dog. God damn. Woo. Well... Hopefully he get him a fake address, but he but he can't do that. Cause, well, <laughs> God damn man, that's some cold shit right there, man. But um, uh, you know that's my opinion on the um on the young thug situation. Once again, the trial start um uh, Monday. I'm not doing this for entertainment, y'all. I'm not doing this to make myself seem like a saint, like I'm better than nobody else. Um, I have been in the system before, um. The blessing I have never done in a long time, um, you know, and I changed my life early. You feel me? I got out. I got out of, of the game early. And the crazy thing is when I got caught up in the system, I wasn't even in the game. But that's just how it works, though. So I'm not doing this for entertainment. I'm doing this to show y'all that we live in a different world. And these celebrity hold so much power over our life. They have so much influence that we try to go and be protégés of what they have rapped about. But it don't work out well for us. As we seen, like, this nigga right here should not be going home, bruh. But somehow, the police let him go. They found 50 ounces on this man. Boss Richie. They found 50 ounces on him? And somehow he got to walk away? Shit. We don't live in the same world. That's what I'm trying to explain. So I'm saying that we have to 
we have to choose our path carefully as we continue to live in this world. You say, and getting um, probation, saying this is crazy, a straight movie, exactly. Yeah, 50 grams. I, I, I said kilos. Well, I'm thinking about that. My bad, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. I started thinking about some other shit then. Um, but yeah, if, if you if you've been in here long enough, you know what you know about the fifty kilos. But um, wow. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to end screen with that. But man, thank y'all for the support, man. I hope we learning something from this. Like I said, we're not here to promote the entertainment of this. We're not here to promote that. We want to go out here and, and and create recreate the lifestyle that these people rap about because. At the end of the day, they get only eight counts of the 65. When I know if it was my motherfucking ass, your motherfucking ass, you're not going to get that same luxury, man. So that's all I'm trying to do. It's for education pur purpose only, not entertainment. We'll be back tonight with more stories, more topics. Uh, like I said, for y'all that are new to my content, we talk about different things over here. Uh, a lot of this stuff, man. It just, it's sad to see. It's sad to see. Um, but we're going we're gonna to be talking about the um, Skip Baylor stuff tonight as well. So, and I want to talk about the, um, we will be talking about this tonight right. as well too. Yo, appreciate that, Lord. Lord. Appreciate that. Where is she? We will be speaking on Gabrielle Union and what she said about cheating. We will be talking about that tonight as well. And I hopefully I have my lady in here with me because we want to get her opinion on it. But if not, y'all know we're going to do our thing. So, man, thank y'all for the support. Y'all have a great night. And i see y'all at 9 p.m. 9 p.m., that's the plan. But, you know, like I said, got them kids. So if I can get the kids sleep at 8, I'm going to try to make sure I'm on time tonight. If I can get them to... Me and my lady, she going to do most of the hard work. I just be trying to help out. <laughs> so if I can help her get them kids to sleep around 8.30, I'll be in here at 9. If not, y'all know I'll be a little late. All right, y'all have a great night. Thank y'all for the support, and I'm tru truly grateful. And shout out to everybody that's loved up, man. I appreciate the love, man. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great night. I'm in a great rest of y'all day, and I'll see y'all tonight. That low on the